All right. Hello and welcome again to Courtesy Flush. Tonight we're going to be playing some Last Express with Nereser, who is here, I believe. Are you here? Yes. Awesome. I am here. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, hey everybody. Uh, we're we're back again. We're gonna play a little bit of The Last Express, the last time we were actually playing this game. Uh, Nereser and I have found out that uh, there is a lot going on in this game that we are just currently unaware of, uh, just kind of happening all at once because we were so busy looking for clues and not stealing luggage. I mean, we were looking for clues. We weren't stealing luggage, despite what it looked like. We just wanted to know what the heck was going on. We're perfectly innocent. I mean, we did throw the body out of the window at first, but then they caught us, so we had to put it... Don't worry. Okay, look, there's a lot of detail. If you're first tuning in for this, there's a lot of detail. You're probably... You're not missing anything. We're going to have to probably restart everything anyway because we keep making very silly choices and surviving none of them. So uh, how are you feeling tonight, Nick? I just like that, making silly choices and surviving none of them. Um... No, I am doing well tonight, so uh, yeah, it should be a good time here on stream. Yeah, I you know I found you know what's interesting is that your character's voice just stopped working. I could fix that though. That's so weird. But um, yeah, um, where where is that thing? At? Yeah, it's it's it should be connected. Uh, but yeah, we uh we had essentially just uh went into this game completely blind and realizing that this game requires us to take quite a few notes, uh, which we did not do very much on. I mean, it's not like it's a detective game or anything, I suppose, yeah. but anyways. Yeah, yeah, I think we're thinking a little too much on this, you know? Uh, yes, uh, Agua? however you pronounce your name yes this is the game that uh we rolled up into the game uh train onto the train discovered our friend's dead body uh yeeted no we did not eat the body out the window well we did we did but then we didn't we turned back time and decided that was a poor choice because the police found out that we threw a body out of a window um so yes uh all is as correct but anyways, uh, so shall I don't we know about anyways? correct. I mean, th th look, this is the last express. This is the last train ride before World War One. So, well, the last on this train, anyway. Yes, I'm assuming they still I, have I mean, trains running in Europe. Yes, uh, th there were in fact trains running through the war at the trenches. Mm. Um. But yeah, this whole thing about... I, I'm looking at the map right here, and it's going, okay, Paris, and then we end up in Germany, and I feel like right about here is like several kilometers of uh, bad going on. So. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I'm like, wh why are they trying to arrest us for a body they found on the side of the tracks? How do they know? See, I don't know that they necessarily knew that that was our fault, but then I think we matched the description of the other body like the murder that was in England or something. Yeah. The newspaper or whatever it is. So they probably arrested us for that and then said, you know what, you're probably guilty of this murder too, so we're just going to, you know, say yeah. that it's your fault anyways. Fair enough. Anyways. Yeah. Are you ready to do this? Yes. I have no idea what we're in the middle of doing. Okay, well, obviously... This is the car. Yes, this is, this is yeah. This is the one where we found. Oh, we were we had um, ducked out the window. And we put the window. Oh, that's much quieter. That's better. So yes, we had ducked out the window. A uh, guy next door is building a bomb. Yeah, he's just building a bomb casually in his in his car. Not too happy about the state of things. I'm guessing. Um. Yeah, he seems to be <laughs> Eastern European of some sort, and I do seem to remember that Eastern Europe had a, or parts of Eastern Europe, uh, namely Russia, had something bad going on at the end of World War One. I. I imagine it was probably started before then. Anyways, um, well, so they had that. Well, Rasputin had to have a sweet sword fight with that guy from the, uh, the gentleman or whatever that movie is. Uh, Kingsman? The Kingsman, yeah. 
You I remember when Rasputin oh. showed up like he was like some sort of like <laughs> some sort of sex cult Dracula and just had a sweet sword fight? Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think the Kingsman's actually on this train too. It's funny enough. All right, I think they went through Siberia actually. The present for the Archduke. Oh, it's a present for the Archduke. Oh, I mean, hmm. I guess. Could be. Yeah, just a little gift for the Archduke. Something tasty, I guess. I, I don't think you can go out the door. I think it's closed. But you can... You have unrestricted access to any of the cars that don't have people on them, I guess, because no one's watching. You know, I don't... I realize... Do we have a guest list? A passenger uh, list, a manifest. Gosh, that would probably help. I don't think we do, though. Because I remember I have a so I have the manual, right? And in the it was in, actually in the reference card that came with the game, and it says, "Our biggest hint that we can give you is find the passenger list. That would be the biggest help you can have." I, I agree with that actually, because we don't know who half these people are because they just show up, walk by us awkwardly. And then whenever we ask them questions, you're like, do you know anything about this Russian folklore? And everyone's like, yes, we all know about the Phoenix. Why do you want to know? And he's like, what can you tell me about it? And they're like, "It, it's really simple. It's a child's story. Why do you care? And nobody wants to tell us the story because they realize they'd have to read a story to a grown man. And for some reason, that's not cool. But hey, I'd say this. I'd read a story to him. I'm like, yeah, I'll tell you the story. Yeah, there's a dinosaur. Every time I have a guest on here, I change the avatar to something else. I feel like the historical period of Russia can be summed up in, it was a harsh period of suffering. Yes. You're not wrong. Rasputin from Hellboy. Yeah. Just don't move. He has movement-based vision. Yeah, exactly. No, that's a T-Rex. I'm a raptor. Yeah, exactly. Matter of fact, they could see you and smell you quite well. Or uh, at least allegedly. I've never met one. Like, I didn't really ask it. Like, hey, how's your sense of smell? He's not going to wake up. You're fine. Yeah, we looked around here earlier. There was nothing there. I just, I don't know what, like, if we're looking for a passenger mate, like a passenger list, that would be obviously something one of the conductors would have. So we would need to go back in time and pick it up from them as they're unlocking doors. Probably. Uh. Yeah, there's not, because, like, look, we don't have a whole lot of this game to really explore. Like, there's no, like, there's probably, like, maybe a couple of other cars, and that's it. So you're you're kind of limited on what you have. This game plays with time, which is what we're doing now. Look at this time frame, though. How much distance they've traveled and how much time you're actually winding back. It's not bad. Do we need... I'm trying to think of how far do we want to go back. Uh, go back all the way to the beginning? Not that all the way to the beginning. Maybe somewhere like around 9. Yeah, that seems about right. Just a minute. Yes, monsieur? Uh, don't bother making up the bed. I'll find it easier to sleep if you just leave it as it is. Uh, monsieur, you would be surprised at how comfortable our beds are. Many people who say they never sleep on trains find I that... I told you to leave it. Of course, monsieur. It's as you wish. Have a pleasant night, monsieur. Yeah. Stay out of our car. All right, that guy's up. He's up. Grab that book. Oh, illustration. Oh, flip that little page that dog ear on the top right. 
Oh, there we go. Um. We have okay. one guy from Russia. That's Alexi. He's in car no number two. Tyler Whitney, we well, know. Well, in compartment number two. Yeah. Compartment um, number two. August is Alamond. He's going to Belgrade. And then we have... Oh, merde. Où est-ce que je peux le mettre? He said, oh, shit. Uh, sorry about that. Narachil Putnik. Would you unlock my compartment, please? Sir. Hmm. Hmm. But in theory, nobody is in 567. Right oh, no. Words. This is all of his. Yeah, you would have to go to the other guy. There you are, monsieur. No, I mean, like, I was looking. Like, it looked like. Please come. You're the only one I can trust. It's a Russian fairy tale for children. Oh. The merchandise will be put on the train at Munich. It is what we agreed. Good. We'll talk again after Munich. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So you could tell who they are by clicking on them. The merchandise will be put on the train at Munich. We never it met. Is what we agreed. Good. We'll talk again. Yeah, we, we never after met Munich. the other guy, Maumud. Oh, here's number. This is another sleeping car. So these are the A through I. Okay, so this is the first car. So uh, observation on the bottom says there's a child age seven in compartment D. So we know that's the, the compartment with the kid in it. Non, je l'ai trouvé, il est à moi. Yeah. Ne t'inquiète pas, on peut pas comprendre, c'est un Américain. He won't understand he's American. Yeah. Sophie. Yeah. Where's the gold? What gold? I saw a wooden box in a hell of a mess. They'd be lost. How can I tell this to the general? So, and E was the two gossiping ladies. See, F was who? Ann Wolf? Yeah, uh, not selectable. That must be the lady who was in the car. What's her oh. stop? Budapest. Mm -hmm. She's stopping at Budapest. Yeah, she's on here for a while. Okay, so Anna Wolf. Uh, you have Miles Yanovic. They're going to Belgrade. Belgrade, excuse me. I keep doing that. Uh, they can't be clicked on either? No. Uh, the rest of his party, no. And who is um, G? What does that guy do? That's Where's the, the guy who is looking for the gold. Box and a hell of a mess. Madame, They'd be lost. How can I tell this to the general? Okay. So A oh, is. Oh, and A is the old Russian guy. guy. And then this that's his the granddaughter. And uh, B is the grandmother, the daughter. Yeah. Right yeah. Okay. We're just sitting here reading this guy's book like out loud. And C is what? What was C? Oh, um C is nobody. Or at least nobody. Uh, yeah, yet. he's going to stop at Kansas. So the Claude's gonna be here for a while. We'll have to say hello to him. Alright, what was the other page? Uh it's just the two cars. Okay. So we got our car, technically the second car. Um, and then we have the first car, Who, the one in, between us and the diner. Who's in compartment number nine? Huh? Who's in compartment number nine? Uh, nobody we've met. Uh, they aren't on the train yet, though. They're only supposed to get on in Vienna. Okay. Is anybody getting off of Vienna? Mm, just one guy. M. Karen, oh no, Paris to Vienna. Wait, wait, go back to the bat. other one for the observations. Huh? It, yeah, it doesn't yeah. have no, go, that. No, go to the back. Go back. Go back. Look at the bottom. It says uh, observations. Oh. Um. I have brought with me a rather heavy briefcase. I would like to know now if the proposed exchange interests you and if Kronos. you are capable of completing it. 
So that oh, was that's the guy in the private car. Yeah, private car, and he's going to Vienna, so he's going to get off at Vienna. Yeah, and that means... So he's going off at Vienna, but then Marichal is going to get on... Uh, Marichal is going to get on at Vienna as well. I don't know if that means anything, but the fact that the two of them are... One's getting on and one's getting off might be important later. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I took notes. Okay. This guy's like, are you done reading my private book? He's not even here anymore. Apologies there if I was ignoring you a little chat. I was writing down all the notes for that uh, particular journal there. Because the, without the crew list, we don't know who we're dealing with. C is for cookie, and that's good enough for me. Yeah, open doors. Who is it? Uh, that's car number two. I didn't write down the name. That's the guy next to you. That's uh, Alexi? Yeah, Alexi. Yeah, let's go outside the train here. Let's do this little wild... Hey, hey guys, look at this prank we're pulling right now. We're so silly. Not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, look, he's not looking. You could cross. He's not making a bomb. The cookie mama, he nope. just flushed at the right time. Oh, yeah. That was my jam back in kindergarten, cookie mama. That kindergarten dance floor got lit when C, K, C for cookie came on. I'll tell you what, man. And they played that on a, uh, I had mine playing on a vinyl for some reason. I don't know why it was a school, this school just had a vinyl player with that song in there. It was an old school teacher, though. Excuse me. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. It was also Bonsoir, like 1992, so. Je ne crois pas, monsieur. La liste des passagers. Mais. Monsieur Martins ne vous l'a pas donné? Mon neveu? Il m'a dit qu'il vous l'avait donné il y a une heure de ça. C'est étrange. That's strange. Oh, peut-être c'est une erreur. Alors il vous l'a donc donné? Ce que je voulais dire, c'est que je n'avais pas compris qu'il était responsable des deux listes. Cela explique tout. Merci, Coudet. De rien, monsieur. Hmm. That must be... Yeah. And Auguste, I believe, is the kid's name. Has uh, left. I don't think it's Auguste. I think it might have been something else. Or like... French. Je m'excuse. Yeah, that's French. Bonsoir, monsieur. Yeah, we're going to try to solve a murder maze. I, I think we're more... Oh, there's that lady again. Do we ever catch her name? Are you reading about Madame Caillot? I don't believe we've been introduced. We haven't. I'm Tyler Whitney. I know. Herr Schmidt told me who you were. If you'll excuse me, I'd <laughs> like to finish my message. She fucking murdered you that guy. You still haven't told me your name. <laughs> she is so fucking guilty. That response of, yes, that's what he told me your name was, is very much <laughs> the I don't believe you because I killed the guy. That's my response. Yeah, just have a seat over there. But we can't pin anything on her without any proof or evidence or Aside from my observation that I saw her leaving his car in the very beginning of the game. I was like, what's she doing in there? And it made it made more sense. I was like, oh yeah, she'd either killed him or she saw the body. Oh yeah, try entering that uh Excuse me, I think you dropped this. Ooh It's not mine. My mistake. I wonder whose it is. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, who is on the passenger list for the for W? Maybe we would have figured that out. Excuse me, ladies, pardon us. Oh yeah, the annoying pudgy kid who tells you if you dump the body, yeah. Her 
her and Air Schmidt killed the dude. I don't know, man. The other thing, too, is that this game is also supposed to uh, be somewhat random. It's not th you, you don't get the same playthrough every time you play the game. But yeah, they don't know. They know each other. The butler did it. Good thing Murder Mech is not in charge, otherwise it's just turning into another lower bow incident. Yeah, just go in there. Oh my, another murder. I'm just going to stick my hands on Whoa. Dog in that compartment. Excuse us. Turn around. Ce pas directement dans le compartiment en voisin, de Chalon madame. Sur Marne. Le chien appartient à Madame Chalon Moore. sur Marne. Je dois avouer que Deux je suis très surprise que la compagnie ignore ses propres règles. Bien sûr, vous avez raison, Madame. Mais vous savez, Madame Wool voyage toujours avec son chien. Chalon sur Marne. Le problème n'est pas le bruit, mais l'hygiène. Dans une voiture, ah. c'est vraiment inadmissible. Miss Wolf. Je comprends ce que vous voulez dire, Madame. Et dans un train de première classe ordinaire, bien sûr, cela ne se produirait pas. Mais vous savez, madame, l'Orient Express a une histoire bien spéciale. Tout le monde sait que madame Wolf voyage toujours avec son énorme chien. Okay. Cela fait partie du romantisme légendaire de l'Orient Express. Certains de nos passagers sont parfois extrêmement déçus de ne pas avoir la chance de voyager en sa compagnie. Hmm. J'espère qu'il est attaché au moins. Oh, bien sûr, madame. Il est très bien dressé. Le meilleur chien que vous ne puissiez rencontrer. Je vous assure que vous vous rendrez à peine compte qu'il y a un chien angles. dans le train. Bon. On verra ça. Y a-t-il autre chose, madame Non, merci. Bonsoir, madame. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Madame mm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, he said he said that uh, she does carry the dog with her. Yeah, Miss Wolf does. I did write that down. And on that scarf is a W. So, what is that doing in the room, huh? Yeah, let's open this up. Oh, there we go. All right. And oh, did you pick up a copy of it? I have brought with me a rather heavy briefcase. I would like to know now. Yeah, ch yeah, you have a copy of it. All right, that's even better. I didn't okay. have to write down any of that. All right, so we need to find out. Uh, check the other one. So, F. She's going to Budapest. It's Millian Wolf. But Whitney. So. Yeah, that's the guy we just. We, that's the guy we came to see, and we nope. found out he's murdered. But, like, that, that, hey, I mean, it might still be, but that, like, it could be W for Whitney is what I was trying to get at. Maybe, but I highly doubt it. He would never, I mean, I don't think he would wear anything like that. Well, you have that. Excuse me. Half that con yeah, half that combo had not subtitles. Yeah, uh, monsieur, I picked me. up a few this things from it. It's belonged to the gentleman in number four. She was just asking a lot of questions about the different people in the compartments, uh, and then he was explaining about how the train actually operates or something to that effect. Uh, the business, anyway. So that's that's all I caught. I'm not Lean super. In. I don't speak fluent French. I know a few words to get me by. Uh, sorry, wrong door. Awkwardly stares. <laughs> Sorry, wrong door. Yeah, that's right. The guy with the sword. You probably don't want to mess with him. Is that a Gryffindor scarf? No. Good night, that Mr. man did have a saber splain. It really did. 
I'm bored. Why don't we go out to the salon? Wait a minute. She wants to go to the I salon. I don't know why you wanted to travel. If all you're going to do is write in your book, you could do that at home. Thank you, Sophie, for that profound reflection on traveling in life. Okay, her friend oh, is I bored know. and she's writing. You're angry because of Josephine, aren't you? You can invite the whole crowd for all I care. They come to the island anyway once they knew you were there. Is that what you're writing in your book? Let me see. If you want to spy on what I'm writing, you'll have to do it when I'm not around. Tu m'en fiches de ce que tu écris. Fais ce que tu veux. Moi, je vais au salon. Yeah, so she's going to the salon or the smoking car. While well, her friend is in the writing, so. Oh! Hey! What do you know? We might be able to get in there after all. Is this guy watching? <laughs> Wrong one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, he's gonna see. Excuse me, Monsieur. Mademoiselle de Breteuil and Miss Norton are not in. Yeah, they're not there. F is the Ann Wolf. So we just need to wait for that guy to unlock the door, but these yeah, if we can get in there and see, maybe she's writing I don't know. I don't think it's important to what we're doing. They're just having you know, a chat. When I saw you in London, I thought you were English. Not really. <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> My wife is English. Perhaps because of this. It's more than that. It's the way you dress, the way you carry yourself. And of course, you speak English so beautifully. I would never have believed you were German. Is that so? <laughs> but really, Miss Wolf, your own English is also very good. Wait, she's Miss Wolf? Yeah. Oh, I could go on talking like this forever. Yeah, I I thought she was but Miss Wolf the whole time. Oh, okay. I think trying to hand her the I scarf was the smart that. choice. She's quite literally she I knows you're not Tyler. Go on talking uh, forever. Good night, Herr Schmidt. Yeah, you want to go follow her to see if she goes into car F. I bet you it's uh, sorry, uh, compartment F. All right, sip a little louder, jeez. Yeah, she got to her car faster. Oh, there she is. Look, look, look. She's she's making a move. Excuse me. Got a light? <laughs> Smooth. Thanks. Haven't we met somewhere before? It's possible. I don't think I would have remembered. <laughs> this lady is so, so guilty. Okay, she went into an... Oh, what car did she go into? <laughs> Yeah, that's her. That's that's her compart F. The one with the dog in it. That's E. That's the two ladies. So that'd be the one next to it. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Good night, Monsieur Whitney. Until tomorrow. Good good night. I think this train is made of paper. We might as might have missed that conversation. Yeah. 30 a.m. Sleep. What's that? Yeah. All right, everybody. Let's do a little bit of fun, silly games. Watch this. Oh yeah. Look at this guy just smoking over a bomb he's making. We need to somehow get that guy when he's not in his room, I guess. Yes, monsieur. But I still don't know for what purpose. I mean, I don't know why we're actually going there out you there. Are, monsieur. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Thank you. Is everything okay? Where did this guy just go? That would be room three. You're... So that's uh, yeah, that was August. So he should be in three. Yeah, he's in three, so he's next to it. Yeah, we we did a little fun silly games. We climbed on the outside of a train. Not a big deal. 
Bonne nuit, Monsieur Whitney. Have a good sleep. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go sleep in the private car. I mean, that's not your sleeping area. Oh, that's the Russian lady. Oh, it's uh, the scroll. If that's what you're looking for. Russian fairy tale. Not because we talk she we talked to her last time. Uh try clicking on her. What about uh using the scroll on her? Can you use any items? Nah, I think you just read it, that's all. Because I think it's supposed to be automatically selects. Yeah. Hey, why don't you take like, a look at the stuff in your inventory? What do you have here? You got... What's that? Oh, yeah. Matches. We've got matches. Let's take one. Or all of them? Yeah, we'll take all the matches. Not a problem. Cam, we've got you come across something gram. exceptional. More your line than mine. Depart Orient Express, 7 p.m. Friday, God or less. You're the only one I can trust. Your pal, Tyler. P.S. Hope you're not still angry about what happened in Cuba. It's our scroll. Yeah, we got our scroll. Messenger list. What's... Oh, this is the newspaper clipping about... The Belfast murder um, that we're apparently... Uh, a part of uh, what Ireland yeah we're kind of we're, we're kind of on the run do you have a match aren't you a little young to smoke monsieur I'm not a little girl I have just spent the whole season in Paris I'm very tired and I want to smoke thank you that's when the lady in red walks by. She goes, oh, I see you had matches the whole time. Do you think you could read this? The firebird. It's beautiful. Look at his burning tail. Where did it come from? Uh, it belonged to a friend of mine. What does it say? It's a poem for children. It's a story about Prince Ivan and the firebird. If you like, I could write out a translation and give it to you in the morning. Спасибо, Татьяна. Не за что. Спокойной ночи. Thank you. Well, and also, uh, the, the reference guide says if everyone's asleep, then it's probably something you should be doing, too. Bonne nuit, monsieur. In the reference card that came with the ah. game. So if everyone goes to bed and there's nothing else to do, you can actually go to bed as well to pass the time. Interesting. So if you wanted to actually wait for her in the morning to give you the thing. Because right now we've got some pretty good leads so far. We're not really like at a new station or anything yet. Yeah, just there. Yeah, the Russian Phoenix. Yeah. The story for children about Ricky and his bitch in Pontiac. Yeah. Would you open my compartment, please? But of course, mademoiselle. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Sounds like we just passed over a, uh... Passed over a crossing somewhere. Huh. Nobody in the dining car. Also not locked yet, which it was earlier. And these two ladies are just up talking mad trash to each other. You know what? No, I remember we went into that that room with the two ladies that uh, were talking trash, yeah. and they had a diary. I forget, I forget how we got distracted. distracted until tomorrow. Oh, 
All right. Well, the guy next to you is making a bomb, so you can have some pretty good sleep knowing that that guy's working through the night. Yeah, on a um, bouncy train that, you know, I'm sure... Oh. Yeah, they're in car E, or, yeah, apartment E. Yeah, it'll be quick, because we don't know how long they're going to be out. Nothing in there. Okay. This is her book. Dear friend, at last. Just skip today all this. We read this last time. Journey. A journey to the east. Yeah, we read all this last time. She talks a lot of stuff about journeying. We could always go out. Nobody says we're not allowed to do a little bit of crime. Oh, yeah. Wait, um, where's the dog? There's no dog in there, is there? Go left. Go left. Yeah, don't fall, Nick. All right, I guess we might as well leave. Yeah, there's no dog in there. She's just, she has like a sound thing playing. What? Is that a sound thing? Because I was going to say, that would be kind of weird considering that the only thing they had at this era was uh, wax cylinders. I mean, maybe she is. Yeah, you could probably go in her room while she's sleeping. Yeah, I don't think there's a dog in there. We pretty much confirmed that. But she's also sleeping, so... We should probably, uh... No. If there's a note... I hope these ladies don't come back when you're in her room. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? You're like, ah, oh, sorry. My bathroom was full up. I had to sneak a uh, sneak in here. My apologies. Hey, Voodoo Grinch. Thanks for saying so, man. Death by boobs. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what else we could do Sleep? in the moment. Maybe it's time we take a little nap on top of our buddy uh, Tyler there. Matter of fact, this would probably be the best time to dump a body out the window. But someone would find it. Let's have a take. We're, we're just going to take a look at our friend here. He was scratched up pretty good, especially around the eye. If you take a look at the uh, right eye there, he's got a big claw mark there and on his right hand as well. So somebody with uh, with sharp nails definitely dug into this guy. All right. Does... Yeah, we looked. Or we already looked at the letter from before. And then the egg is missing. That's all I can assume based on the menu screen. I don't know what actually goes in there. Oh wait, we can go in here. Was there? Can we just take his soap? Maybe he stashed something into the sink. This is weird. Le train entre en gare de Bar le Duc. Bar le Duc, three minutes d'arrêt. All right, three minutes to Bar le Duc. Got it. Le train entre en gare de Bar le Duc. Bar le Duc, three minutes d'arrêt. Oh. 
Yeah, you want to go into the guy's car with the bomb? No. I should have... Who is it? Oops. Who is it? Oh, I hey, what's going on? Sorry, wrong door. Where Barla... Excuse me, monsieur. 1045. I don't think anybody was getting on from Barla Duke or getting off. Um, I don't remember, but no, because um, they they had the manifest. Unless it was just you know, okay. there could be a last minute well, addition. It could be like there could be a number of things operationally, but also like these fast passenger trains like yeah you made money from the passengers but you also made money from carrying express like package and mail yeah because like it was the fastest way to get from some like person or thing point a to point b so yeah um it was a werewolf yeah maybe that's maybe that's what she is it's just it goes in there and wolfs out it's just growling in there how long till it takes the the body smell? One Orient Express ride or two? All right, well, let's go back to our room and. Uh, well, the. Uh, I want to rewind time for just a sec. Well, you can rewind time for as long as you like. So what are we doing? We are. Because we have in our room. Okay. I don't know what we did or did not do yet, so I'm going to double check. Yeah. Anyways, we have in our bathroom... Oh, there she is. Yeah, see, like, there's no dog in there. Unless the dog is on the upper bunk. That's fair. Um, but that seems a weird place for the dog to be. Um... Yeah, we checked the bathroom. They didn't have anything. Yeah, see, it's only... A... We should leave. Because we hadn't checked her... Like, last time, I don't think we checked that... And we got into that bathroom. So I wasn't sure... If oh yeah, we 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 gave that lady a light. She has oh, our we story. Don't have to scroll. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna knock on the bomb guy's door again. Like boom, boom, boom. What's going on in there? He just like freaks out, like oh, and like blows up. Yeah, look at this little parkour silly tricks we got here on this train. The last Express. This is the last guy who's ever done this on the last Express. Uh, Wraith? Yes, I agree. Um, I don't know... Water is easy enough, and, like, often you would take on, like, have stops to take on water. Yeah. Um, coal, usually at that point, um, except for, like, I can think of a couple of situations that I know of, but usually, like, if you need to coal locomotive, you're just going to swap out locomotives yeah. anyways. Um... But yeah, mail express stops don't take very long to do, so that could very easily be a three minute stop of hey everything like everything that for this stop gets off real quick and everything going gets on. Yeah. You almost want a good wall Dorito puzzle to solve. Well, we'll get there. I'm sure this train has plenty of wall Dorito puzzles waiting for us. We just haven't found them yet. I think it's because we uh, we do have to probably skip ahead to the next day. Yeah, uh, we will in here in a second. 
but we have one possible wall Greedos thing, but who knows yeah, what it's a lot of switches or what we're supposed to be doing because there's no indication of we can do anything yet except for the fact that there seems to be something going on. It's funny because a lot of this technology from that era looks really complicated, but it really is not that complicated. They had to make it simple. <laughs> it's probably um, complicated to install and maintain. Um, there's, um, because we, like, so the cars I work around yeah. were built like 20s, 30s, uh, and we had a little while ago had been doing some retrofitting of some electrical stuff on them. Um, and one of the coolest, like, looking things was uh, the way you used to get electric lights on, like, at least a U.S. passenger car. Yeah. Was you had a generator that was basically shaft coming off of one of the, like, car axles of the car. Um, and that would, you know, as the train was rolling along, that would turn the generator make electricity. Um, and there was, like, a... Um, some sort of voltage regulator that as best as we could tell um, like as more voltage went through this magnet it basically like, three minutes so something Duke. that um, made it like resist more for going towards the lights yeah anyways all right, well, we can sleep on top of this dead body or we can watch this Russian guy keep building a bomb. I mean... Okay, they're stopping the train at Barladuke. This might be your chance, dude. This might be your one chance to get out there. Go for it. It stopped. Go, Nick, go. It won't let me. Oh. See, it's a lot easier to do train parkour when the train isn't in motion. At least I would assume so. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, somebody left their room. You heard that door open. It was, I don't think it was our Russian friend, though. That's our car. Who is it? Oh, yeah, he's nope. there. Damn it, he's, he's in there, there just making a bomb. Hey, Tex. Yeah. Okay, so how do we sleep? You still have a body, the body? That's not a good idea. What do you mean it's not a good idea, dear Ralphine? Look at this. We have... Can you can you show the stream the, the body hiding technique we've got here? Look at this. This is a master class of, of hiding a body. I, I just have to say, look, where's the body at, huh? That, do you see a body? Because I don't. Look at this. We flipped the bed up. And, well, bow. Who's going to find the body now? We hit it so well. No one's going to flip that over. This is the last express. There isn't going to be a return trip from Constantinople back to Paris. This is literally the last one on this ride. So, we're fucking good. I don't know what anyone else is saying. I think we've fucking solved this mystery. Other than the fact that we're missing gold or something. I don't know. Well, we we need gold. No, we need the egg so that we can sell it. No, how's this going? It, I think it okay. has to be we need the egg so that we can sell it to the guy at the end so that we can get gold so that we can buy whatever it is that probably, Herr Schmidt is getting. Probably something. Uh... Yeah, it says drink the water. Yeah, don't throw the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't throw the body out of the train. It'll hit Mike's window as Mr. Train passes. We're just like, yeah, throw the body out of the train. We hear the train outside, and we hear a body. We're like, oh, fuck. That's getting too real. It says that'll show. Chuck the body out the window. You see, here's the problem, Tex. When we threw the body out of the window, some fat French kid just told on us. And then the police came at the next stop, and they went... Yeah, we found the body of a of an American. And then they figured out who it was. Unlike the rest of the 19 whatevers where you throw fucking bodies, it's 1912. 
throw bodies out of anywhere in the wilderness. No one's going to find it. Nobody does that much research. But apparently in the last Express, especially the German police, they really look into every detail. My guess is that if we're going to get rid of the body, Ralphine, and we've never played this game. We're completely blind. If we're going to get rid of this body, I'd say we get rid of it in... Where does this train go, Nick? Where, can you hit the Can you hit the egg for me? Can you tell me where this train is going? Uh, let's pull up a map here. Okay, look. I'd say we, if we're going to dump the body out, Nick. Let's do it between Belgrade and Constantinople, somewhere in Siberia or Serbia and Bulgaria. They're not going to ask any questions, especially if you just toss a body out. Though they don't, they have no problem. They're like, you know what? Not my business. Because those are two countries that just mind their own business when a train goes by. Somebody's like, oh, free shoes. Free shoes and shirt and pants. And for the very desperate meat, I guess. It's 1914, July 24. So uh, just a few days before uh, World War One, And we are on the last express. Um, just as a side diversion. Yeah. You know what I saw funny the other day? What's that? Uh, some old timey newspaper that was like, now that you know the war hawk Franz Ferdinand is dead, you know peace will come to Europe. Uh oh. Like, <laughs> uh, That's it. Like eh, that didn't get work out for you. Well. That was not a very good tweet. I I'd have to say. So how do we sleep? Do we just fast forward I, time or? I'm gonna find that out really quick from the manual. Give me a second. Because I actually only read the uh, the reference card. It says that we have this ability, but if we do, it's not really making it very uh, very apparent. Because it's like, as I said, this is the era of games where you have to take a lot of notes. And uh, yeah, here we go. Exploring the train, starting a new game. We already did all that. Okay. All right, so here's some helpful hints, Nick. Pick up everything you can place, uh, can and place in your inventory. No matter how trivial an object may seem, if you can pick it up, do so. It may come in hand later, which we we do. We are magpies on this. Yes. Use the fact that you're on a train to your advantage. People enter and leave compartments all the time, and the conductor can't watch your uh, watch you every second. Everything is constantly changing, so be alert for opportunities to move around and investigate. Try visiting different parts of the main uh, train. Uh, yeah, we've done this already. Find the passenger list. That was actually quite literally just the bullet point. Uh, we have that now. Let the mouse cursor tell you what actions are possible. When the cursor looks like an arrow, which it does, clicking has no effect. When it changes to anything else, uh, like if you pass over a character, this is your chance to speak. Click to speak. So they're telling us to talk to everybody whenever we see the speech icon. Yeah. Late at Makes night, sense. you may notice everyone is on the train has gone to sleep. You might try doing the same. That's all it says. Hmm. If you felt really stuck, try rewinding to an earlier point and replaying a part or all of the journey on the last express. Events rarely happen in the exact same way twice. You may pick up a clue or an opportunity that you missed uh, the first or second time around. Oh yeah, let's not call. Let's not pull the alarm. That would be a very bad time for us. You can only go to sleep when you see a Z-text balloon. Yeah. We can go backwards, but not forwards. Okay, gotcha. Or at least not, like, at the moment. Like, maybe, like, if you were rewinding... You or could, maybe like, we actually have to move the body back. out. Well, now that everyone's asleep, it's probably a lot easier. Let's just dump the body out, see what happens. Okay. I mean, the kid's asleep. He's not going to rat us out. And I know the I Russian know guy is definitely that. not going to rat us out because he's over there building a bomb. As I said, not my business. We're here for a golden egg and our friend here. Oops. Gets scared for a second. Like, ah, I don't know about this. All right, we got the body. Ah, put it right back. <laughs> put, put the body right back. Come on. There we go.
I think you have right. to put the body down to open the window. Mm. Yeah, that man got clawed to the face. Yeah, right into the water. Perfect. Well, that solves that problem. Yeet time indeed. Isn't your new coat all bloody again? I don't think so. Look, the bed's not bloody. See, we're fine. Look, we made the bed up and now we're ready for sleep. See? I'm scared. All right. What time is it? 4 a.m. almost. Mm. You're in Strasbourg now. But anyways. Uh. There's nobody on the car, Nick. Going to number two. It keeps doing... Yeah, you have to go forward twice. There you go. Uh, what? Nick, what's going on? I don't know. Why can't you go... Whoa. What's going on? All these cars are labeled number one. Nick, what is going on? Why are you going backwards, Nick? I don't know. Something... Let's just go back into our room, then. Oh. What? Oh. Free egg? Yeah, sure, I'll... Why don't you make it sing? Thank you. <gasps> ah. Okay. Hey, we made it. We made it. We don't have to worry about the body. See, look at that. I feel like I want a hard boiled egg. Hey, let's go see if the Russian guy's asleep. There's one coat hanger up there. Oh, hey, we didn't think to look back there. Maybe some people stored some stuff on the back ceiling. We'll have to think about that next time we're in a car. See how there's like a little storage space up there. It's kind of bizarre, though. We can go check and see if he's in there. We'll do a little bit of train parkour. Check this out. Just hanging on for dear life. This is great. Oh, he's not in there. He's we out. could break in there he's and out. steal everything. A hundred percent. Time to steal all of his shit. Oh my God. He's not even in his room. So he locked his door? Who does that? Does this guy have a key we can just take? No. Our guy's too much of a wuss to try to steal his keys. I mean, he's not really. He's been kind of like a, a rogue, but... He's not rogue enough to steal some keys. Someone playing some music, huh?
Who's playing the violin? Yeah. It's a knife mare. I don't know. Someone's playing the violin pretty hard, though. My guess, oh, your best guess that he dropped him into the Moselle River? Yeah. I, I wouldn't know. Uh, I would, I'll take your word for it, though. I mean, he, he ended up in the river. If you're going to dump a body in 1914, that's probably one of the better places to do it. But as I said, if there's no witnesses to anything, they're not going to find you out. They Investigations in this era were very quick. <laughs> there wasn't a Sherlock Holmes on every case. Well, it's not G or H. Let me take a look at my notebook here. Oh. I saw your light. I thought you might be having trouble sleeping. I had a bad nightmare. It woke me up. Can I come in? Why not? Oh, there's the dog. Gunter Maxel. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> I'm sorry the place is a mess. <laughs> Do you always carry a gun on your concert tours? A woman traveling alone has to be careful. I would have thought Max was enough protection. You are not Tyler Whitney. Who are you? My name is Robert Kath. What do you want? Tyler Whitney was a friend of mine. What's that supposed to mean? Maxel, bleib here. Sit. Oh, good dog. Go to her. Um. No. Let me through. I'm a doctor. Boil some water. What are you doing? What kind of a doctor are you? I know you. За мною пришел убийца. Таня, подай мне нож. Я вырежу его сердце и скормлю волка. Дедушка! Oh, don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's saying. Василий Александрович! Set it down over there. Oh, he's rolling up a joint. And give him a cup every four hours. Can you do that? Yes. What on earth is the matter? Let's clear out. Let him sleep. Vous avez entendu le docteur? Tout le monde dort. Il faut le laisser se reposer. Miss Tatiana, could I speak with you? I don't want to frighten you, but I think someone went into my compartment while I was at dinner. No. Would you think I was very silly if I asked you to keep it for me? Just until we reach Vienna? Of course not. I would be glad to. You mustn't tell anybody. It will be our secret. Oh. Uh-oh. Do you dare? Well, what is she going to do? Shoot you on the train? I mean, she could. Yeah. Let's go into room F and see if she's ready. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, she came out. Turn around. Good night, Miss Wolf. Good night, Mr. Whitney. Uh, she went back into that room for some reason. Let's go find out no, why. She... No, because what I'm sure it was, was, hey, can you hold on to something for me? Excuse then... me. Pardon me. Okay. This is very bizarre. Let's go and find out what she's all about. Let's go in there and have a little chat and be like, hey, why'd you point a gun in my face? What's your deal? Gonna kill someone else? Just open the door, Nick. It's just a dog. 
Never mind. <coughs> Doesn't look like she wants to have any more fireside chats, I suppose. Good night, Monsieur Whitney. Until tomorrow. Wolves love manhart. This is all rotoscoped art, actually. So these were actually uh, stills and video that were taken and they drew over every single frame. As soon as we're done with the, uh, oh. Oh yeah, we did leave that window open, didn't we? Yeah, we did. It doesn't look like he's in this room. He's not, it's just locked. Can we move past his window? Uh, yes. I can try again, but it, like, it seems set up so that it's only, like, you're only viewing the next room over, like, it's like a little game mechanic, if you will. Because any time... Yeah. Yeah, and that goes for both of them. Like, you can't move to the, like, any farther. So it seems to be like a little thing set up to only view that one room adjacent. Oh, uh, you don't have to worry about this train, Jack. Everyone gets a bathroom. This is the Orient Express, I believe. It's actually the last one. But yes, Gilly, to answer your question, yeah, just like that. Um, except these guys didn't have nearly as much money as the Lord of the Rings cartoon did. <laughs> You're just going to go walk into that lady's room? Okay. Check the uh, rafters behind the thing. Remember, we, we saw that there was a little cubby hole up there. Alright, nothing there. Anything inside the... Yeah, see, it's very weird that we didn't uh, notice that before. Well, if she hi hid anything, she didn't hide it in this bathroom. The next trains to run on this line will have thicker steel and more guns. <laughs> yes, they will. That that is a fact. That is exactly what. Then then the guns. Next train will probably have refugees. Then the guns. You're right, Marquis. Or my quoi. We're gonna take another nap, huh? You? Oh, hey, look, there's our train. Hey, is that Gondor in the background? Where are we at on the map, Nick? Um, Let's take a look at the fancy are... map. We are in Ulm. Is that what that is? Yeah, it looks like it. All right. We're still in Germany. It's daylight, so everyone's awake. That means there's probably Brecky. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> nice. Alright, this I, is the, the cafe. Well, this is the salon. The There's salon, yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. Sorry. Monsieur. There is. There's a très jolie femme dans le wagon couché. Elles m'ont donné des bonbons. François, je te défends de leur adresser la parole. Good morning. Claude, How is your grandfather? Dites lui quelque chose. Good. Don't forget the I, I want to thank you for what you did. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there. Has she been ill for a while? I don't know. I've been living in France. Then father came to bring me home to Russia. I knew he wasn't well, but... I have written out your poem. Oh, cool. Thank you, Tatiana. That man. Excuse me. You gotta understand, like, our main character can look Russian 
badass guys in the eyes, and they immediately go, Oh, American. He gives them the old blue steel for some reason. If Vasily Alexandrovich suffers, it's because of his own guilty conscience. I only spoke the truth. How dare you! I believe he's, uh... I believe it's the beginning of the Lenin era, isn't it? Yeah. That time no longer exists. Good day. Yes. Good day. Say it complete perfect English. I want everyone to know. Our character can speak fluent French and English, so he is most likely a spy of some kind. Uh, French and Russian. I'm sure he speaks other languages, and probably German as well. So he's, so he's either some kind of spy or some kind of weird, uh... Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. No idea. Now let's have a chat. Good morning, Herr Schmidt. I hope all that shouting didn't wake you up last night. Charting? What charting? Guess not. <laughs> I guess that was a short conversation. Yeah, he didn't wake up. These ladies are going to go have a chat with themselves. Hey, happy Friday to you, Brian. She's getting let into that room. Would you open my compartment, please? Pardon me? And of course. Yes, yes. Vraiment. Oui. Et je l'ai attrapé. Mais il est parti. Excusez-moi. Uh, pardon me. God, those kids are going to run around with a fucking horn again. Or the, the whistle. All right. Claude. The Frenchman. He's on here for the whole thing. Um... Yeah, it looks like everyone's here except for... Well, there's a chunk going all the way to Constantinople, then we've got Budapest and a couple Belgrade. Yeah. Hey, Diggs. Uh-oh. Someone's just jamming out. Come in. Milos, we need to talk. Fuzzy, where's the Naurogen? Auger Schmidt thinks I'm Tyler. I went along with it to keep the game going. Now I want to know what the game is. I'm going to talk to you. Come on, brother. I'm Tyler, friend. You're all friend. Come on, sit down. Have you heard of unity or death? Sure. That's Harvard's motto. Where is it, the post office? Unity or death is a sacred vow. Tsurna Ruka, we have all taken it. Tyler, too. He always liked that sort of thing. He gave his life for this. Tyler came to us in the winter. We were hiding in the mountains of Bjelašnica, north of Sarajevo. Wait, did he have a... When Tyler came, we had yeah. no food, no guns, nothing. Tyler brought us guns. What did Tyler want from August Schmidt? Tyler was given a mission by the general himself. It was a great treasure that belonged to the Serbian people. What was it? It was called the Firebird. I never saw it. Tyler was to sell it for gold to buy the Wait. guns from the German. If the German finds out that we have lost the gold, everything is lost. You must tell him that we have the gold and that we want to buy the guns. Why should I help you cheat August Schmidt? Cheat him? How can you speak of cheating a German? The Germans are taking our land, the food from our children. We are like slaves in our own land. Tyler understood this. If you betray us, you betray the cause he died for. 
Okay, well, it's let's take car, let's mine. low the voices down. We can hear you in the hallway, dude. Tego ubijem odmah. Zabranjem ti, on je bio tajro prijatelj. Ti ćeš ga pustiti da izađe odavde? Ti si veća budala nego što sam mislila. Oh, by the way, Herr Schmidt mentioned that he was having some merchandise put on the train at Munich. So long. Madame? Yeah, she doesn't like us very much. He's Bali. Uh, pardon uh, me. Pardon me. He's... Yeah, they all heard that conversation. Anyway, let's take a look at that translated poem. Why not? Yeah, now that it gets mentioned. Oh, attends. Ah, you. Every night in far off land, the firebird stole gold hey, apples from the royal garden. The old king said to Prince Ivan, Go speak. We gotta get away from this French kid because he won't stop talking about his beetles. Of course, monsieur. Let's go to our car where it's quiet. There you are, monsieur. Like the dead. Anyway, let's uh let's have a quick look. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> Every night in a far off land, the firebird stole golden apples from the royal garden. Hmm. The old king said to Prince Ivan, Go speak with the gray wolf and bring the firebird to me, for I must hear him sing. Gray wolf, where should I go? Climb on my back and I will take you away. Away. Um, in the desert, in the desert heart of a vast. Vast southern land. No, I was trying to figure, like, the wording doesn't seem, wording was weird. Anyways, hangs a cage of silver bells on the red rock painted with the old shapes of dream time. Oh, hey, our Doritos. Yeah, there they uh, are. The, the shapes of dream time. Doritos. Uh, the bells rang out when Ivan seized it, but the firebird had flown. Grey wolf, Conductor. where shall I go? Would you lock my door, I'm on please? my back and I will take you. A world away lies a older kingdom ringed with blue. In a circle of ancient stones, the firebird guards a horse course, with a golden mane. Yeah. Um, the firebird vanished in a bright flash as Ivan grasped the reins. Um, Grey wolf, where shall I go? I'm on my back and I will take you on the rooftop of the world. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Elena sleeps under the firebird's wing. One look at her and Prince Ivan forgot his coin. <laughs> he was like, um, wait, what was I doing? He kissed her and she rose. The firebird watched them go. <laughs> Grey wolf, where shall I go? I'm on my back and I will take you. They turned towards home and tired on the wayside slept. His jealous brothers, seeing them, cut Ivan into a hundred pieces. Uh-oh. Grey Wolf cried Elena, we must find the waters of life and death. Grey yes. Wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you. Can you tell this is a children's nursery river? <laughs> yes. Um, in the warm seas, under a cross of stars on a grassy island, Stand the heads of silent gods looking ever outward. Yeah. There Elena found the waters of life and death and made Ivan whole. Grey wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you to the city of the temple built by the son of David. When the blue doors opened, Ivan and Elena entered in. And there the firebird waited to open his throat and sing to them. And so they dwelt in harmony all their lives, and each night the firebird sang his story to them, until Death the Destroyer came and overtook them as they ran, and turned their bones to fire and then dust. What the heck? What? what a, yeah. They were all happy until the God of Destruction came in and said no, and everyone died. The end. It's like, okay. Just like my babushka used to tell me. Classic Russian fairy tale. <laughs> Classic. Wow. Okay.
Marquois says, uh, hey, travel the trains these days. It's not so bad. It's a bit expensive and slow in Canada, though. Yeah, it's the same in the States. Yeah. Um. Yeah, when travelers had legroom and a bed, you can still get those. They're just mega expensive. I looked into that, uh, trying to look at a train to go uh, back up to Cleveland, because I was like, oh, yeah, I just take a train up to Cleveland. That'll be fun. Nah, too expensive. <laughs> far, far too expensive. I'm a tall person. I, I gotta have a place to sit, unfortunately. I gotta I have a leg room. That's why that Delta flight really messed me up when I got back. I had never felt back pain that bad before. Because I was already... I had the flu. I was already in pain. Oh, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of out daylight uh, parkour. Let's do it. No, oh, he's just chilling in his room. Reading a little Lennon, you know. He doesn't use this bathroom very much. And he doesn't store anything underneath that sink. I'm beginning to think this guy is not a good guy. You know, it's funny, you almost hit the uh, alarm bell every time you leave your room, I've noticed. Yeah, you... Because it's, like, button-shaped, so... Who like... is it? It's me, open up! I want to come inside and read the books with you. Hey, have you ever heard of this cool mech thing called Battletech? It's good. <laughs> I'll keep him occupied, Nick. It's like, why are you worried about a revolution when we could talk about the inner sphere? Is... Hold on. <laughs> and all, all fairy tales ends with Andy cast horse explosion. The end. Yeah. Monsieur... That is Herr Schmidt's compartment. And he had it locked. I remember him saying that in the beginning. It's funny because we have not actually been in his compartment yet, and he happens to be also kind of su suspect in the fact that he is very quiet and friendly. You see, that's the thing with Americans. We don't trust quiet, friendly people. They're always up to something. That's why we got to break in there and take all of his shit. For America. <laughs> At least they're consistent. Let's go inside and see how all Grandpa's sleeping. Munich, Munich, 20 minutes arrêt, Munich. I'm good. I don't want to get off Isn't of Munich. Munich, where the guns are getting put on. Apparently. Yes. Try the. Oh. Herr Whitney, soon we will arrive in München. Are you ready to proceed with our agreement? The answer is yes, Herr Schmidt. Our deal is on. Uh. <laughs> what are, what are you gonna do when they load it on there? We don't have gold. Your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, the Orient Express is now leaving for Vienna, Budapest, Belgrad, Sofia, and Bitte sehr vorsichtig sein mit diesem großen Koffer. Ja, ja. Wir sind um Gottes Willen nicht hinfallen. Meine Damen und Herren, der Orient Express fährt jetzt in Richtung Wien, Budapest, Belgrad und Konstantinopel ab. Bitte alle einsteigen. This is wild, man. They did such a great job on this. Oh yeah, they're, they're playing chess. Oh, he's out of his room, Nick! Now's the time! We need to save this place. It's noon. Замечательно. Трюк достойный вашего деда. Ну почему вы все время вспоминаете дедушку? Ведь вы же сам... They have a love-hate relationship. 
she really likes him because they grew up together and he's getting kind of into the revolution. Ah, Whitney, the merchandise has been loaded onto the train. I have fulfilled my part of the bargain. I want to see the gold. Our agreement included delivery of the arms in Belgrade. We're not in Belgrade yet. Herr Whitney, since I boarded this train, I have begun to feel that things are not as they should be. If you cannot reassure me, I intend to get off in Vienna and take my merchandise with me. Guten Tag! Alright. We need to figure out how to show this guy we got the gold. Well, I think... Well, at least make him think we have the gold. It's the quiet ones that get, yeah. Suddenly very scared for a quiet, friendly Canada. It's okay, Mark Waugh. You could just say anything with a French accent, and they'll be like, okay, he's one of us. You have the name Mark Waugh. Of course. You're being saved. We need him to be somewhere else so that we can get into that room. Any good at alchemy? Uh, not really. And we don't have too much lead on this train that I'm aware of. Unless you're talking about the ammunition, but that'd be a lot of work. Like, oh, we got golden bullets. Probably take a couple of lead pipes, I guess. Ironically enough, you can turn in gold, lead into gold. It just involves, like, nuclear radiation and is generally bad for your health. G generally speaking, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about this, Nick. Do they have nuclear-powered trains? I actually don't know this. Um, have these things been proposed? Yes. I figured Has as much. Has anybody <laughs> actually gone through with it? Thankfully, no. Nuclear power train? What's wrong with that? It's just the nuclear reactor just going down the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you worried about? It's just a little nuclear reactor going down the tracks, man. It'll be fine. Easy as pie. Nuke train. We tried a nuke rocket ship. Why not? This guy's going to walk by you. That door's locked. Thank you, sir. I think if I if, if I do uh, this is just a really cool way to do an FMV. It is most probable. By the way, I was wondering, you haven't seen a red cravat anywhere, have you? I was just unpacking, and it seems to have disappeared. I believe my son has taken it. Really? What was the name of the town you mentioned? Masjid es Suleiman. Of course, the new oil refinery they're building at Abadan. I say, you're not working for Anglo-Persian, are you? Why not? Well, I suppose you being a Frenchman, I just assume... I am an engineer, monsieur. The Anglo-Persian company is doing the most innovative research in oil exploration. Yes. Well... Wouldn't want the Royal Navy to be caught short of fuel oil, would we? Tell me, are the reserves in that little town, what's it called again, really as big as they say? I cannot offer an opinion, monsieur. No, of course you wouldn't. Quite brave of your wife to go all that way and live in the desert. She would not wish to be without me. You know, me. I don't know about, like, the destroyers or anything, for but, like... He has a fine I know the mind. British Seems battleships like were still burning oil. coal at this point. I don't suppose you could ask him uh, for my cravat. That was the whole thing. Uh, I, I like, think now that I remember him using it as a kind of sieve to test salinity in the water. Most remarkable in a boy of seven. Don't you agree? Quite remarkable. Does that it boy grow up to be someone important? The scientific mind, monsieur. Yes. And all that trap. Oh, they're still playing chess. I think I think if the egg is anywhere, it's either going to be in Wolf's cabinet. She's right there. Yeah, she's out of her cabinet, but she got that that dog in there. 
or it's going to be in the old man's cabinet, or it's going to be in the, 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 the young lady's cabinet. Herr Schmidt, ich bin wirklich daran interessiert, was Sie machen geschäftlich. What is your business anyway? You make it sound so mysterious. I'm afraid you would find it very boring, but without going into detail, I will say that my work here is not only commerce, and that in my own small way, I'm doing my part for the fatherland. Um, so pretzel bomber, like, even though the same principle applies to like oil bo burning boiler versus coal burning boiler, in that uh, hydrocarbon gets, you know, consumed by fire and heat makes water into steam. The boilers themselves, like, there is some differences, so it's not like you can just switch from one to the other. Um, yeah. Like, if nothing else, like, the fuel tanks that you need versus coal bunkers is very, very different. Yeah, check the old man. Remember, Miss Wolf went into both cabins. Oh. Bad music's playing, yeah. Let's just check on him, make sure he's not dead. Not like we can. Anything inside the... Interesting. Why can we look at the floor? I noticed that light bulb is out there. Oh. Which light bulb? The one on the left there. Ah, uh, the two. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, try going inside the bathroom. Not in there. We need to find something to show this guy. I mean, we are the masters of time. We can literally just go, well, that didn't work. Well, the other thing... We're in Salzburg. Didn't he say he was going to get off the train here? Who? Aug August. The one with the weapons. No, Vienna. Vienna, okay. Excuse me, monsieur. That is Miss Tatiana Obalanskaya's compartment. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we know. I was just checking on her. It's a Vienna. Okay, Vienna. All right. You know, I don't think we have any wolf Bonjour, bait. Monsieur. I don't think the wolf would fall for it either. Yeah, he's keeping an eye out on things. We have to wait till he's not not looking. And that dog will just tear us apart if we go in there. Bonjour, monsieur. Why don't we go take a talk uh, with the guy in the back bar? Maybe he might have something for us. She keeps looking to see if that guy is paying attention Bonjour, to do something illegal. Interesting. Where are we going? Um, Let's go into the supercar. Are you still here? Tell His Excellency I'd like to... Tell him I want to talk to him about the Firebird. The American. I believe oh. this time you'll want to speak to him. <laughs> yes. Does he say now is the time? I'm in. Make yourself comfortable. Why, thank you, Kahina. I think I will. Good morning, Mr. Cotton. <laughs> I hope you have good news for me today. That depends. Do you still want the Firebird? Do you have it? What happened to Tyler? The misadventures of Mr. Whitney and his colleagues are of no interest to me. Let us conclude this transaction quickly. We both have many other things to do. 
I with my collection, and you with your travels and special interests. Your treatment of Vasily Alexandrovich, for example. Datura Stramonium. Very interesting. It's very simple. Simple to us, perhaps. But few European doctors would have thought of it. Once in Nigeria, but I digress. Do you have the firebird? Not technically. Then I shall waste no more of your time. I shall look forward to our next meeting, Mr. Kai. All right. So we now know we're an American doctor, so we say, oh, hey, look, we're in his house. That is a really cool painting. That's 1914. It is as I thought. The Austrian woman has the fire. Forgive me, Your Excellency. I told you so last night. Why have you not searched? That's the weird. The compartment is guarded, Your Excellency, day and night. Ah, uh, yes, the dog. I am not afraid, Your Excellency. Wait, listen to this. But if I enter the compartment, that dog will attack me. If Your Excellency wishes, of course. I understand. Several hours remain before Vienna. I will arrange a convenient absence for this woman and this animal whose presence seems to make you so uneasy. Then, Kahina, you will find the fire. Okay. Yes, Your Excellency. Let's do it. Let's take her. Let's take the advantage that she's supposed to get and turn it into our advantage. We'll need to go and wait by car uh, cab F. Because she has the Firebird, which we both know she does, because she probably uh, he took it for. Though. What, Miss Wolf? Miss Wolf put something very valuable that was trying to be stolen in uh, the granddaughter's room. Right, so we need to get into the granddaughter's room, but how do we do that? That is a good question. Bonjour, monsieur. There's the conductor. Deuxième service. Deuxième service. Bonjour, monsieur. Le dé Eat an egg, the gold, uh, gold for the guns, and this leads you to profit. Well, we need the. G Here's the thing: we're trying to figure out what this whole deal was and why someone killed our friend. That's what we're really trying to do. Cause we're already here. We punched the ticket. We're taking the ride. We're here to try to figure out what happened to this guy. Excuse me, Monsieur. Monsieur. Вы так и не сделали ваш ход. Fräulein Wolf, it is a privilege to meet so talented an artist. We could probably go into My her name cabinet anyway. Is Your Excellency, you do me a great honor. Huh. My car is equipped with a piano. I wonder if you would do me the favor of joining me in a duet. It will help pass the time on this rather long journey. What a splendid idea! Shall we say three o'clock? I shall count the minutes until then. Good day. Is it very tiresome, oh. your business in Vienna? Oh, well, you know, okay. you always hope that a man So at 3 o'clock, we are going to have to break so in and do some uh, do some crime. All right, we're at an hour. Uh, Nick, how are you feeling? You want to keep going, buddy? Um, good bit of business. I can go either way. Uh, okay, we'll go as far as you want to go. Is Geschäft nicht zustande? Ist es abgesagt? Okay, and all these ladies are walking in front of you. So what are you trying to do here? I don't know. There's absolutely Who's no that guy on the right? But of course. I too studied music in my youth. 
if I may say so. No one important. Not this promise. Nous avons réservé votre table. Thank you. Vous savez, votre commençait à me manquer. Sans vous, mesdemoiselles, l'Orient Express serait juste un train tout ordinaire. Merci, Pascal. Je vais devoir t'habituer à déjeuner plus tard, ma chère Rebecca. Sur l'île, on ne déjeune jamais avant 3 heures de l'après-midi. Pendant la journée, il fait trop chaud. Entre midi et 3, on ne peut faire que la sieste. Il y a une fantastique petite coiffeuse au village qui oh. pourrait te laver et te coiffer. Crime les time. Tu I'm not worried about crime time. We're going to steal so much shit. Alright, uh... I guess we'll have to go into, uh... Other cabins, talk to other people, we'll see. What about that guy? Who's that? Look at this tough ass motherfucker. Yeah, you better walk by. He was listening at the car after this open door. Sorry, the, the room after the door. E? No. Excusez-moi, monsieur. I don't know who that guy is, but he definitely doesn't belong here. So there's going to be all of these people going to the car. Oh, talk to him. Uh, Schmidt, can we talk? Unless you can show me the gold, there is nothing to talk about. Good day. Fair enough. We just have to wait for this guy to get up so we can take a look at his book. He's getting up, Nick. Get the book. Oh, excuse me. No, no, the no, list. No, don't get up. I'll just sit right here and read my paper. He just drew a picture of everyone. That's cool. Nice. Hey, but that doesn't... Excuse me, monsieur. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. How you doing, bomb maker man? How's it going? Actually, excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. What? What are we looking for, Nick? Would you open my compartment, please? But of course, mademoiselle. Are we going to Gabriel and I approach commit felonies to solve a felony? Yeah. Check that list on the other guy's thing, since he's opening this guy's thing. Pardon me? Ah, Monsieur Whitney, Prince Kronos wishes to invite you to a concert in his private car. Madame Wolf will play the violin. And he wants me to be there. Oh yes, Monsieur, three o'clock. His Excellency was most eager that you should attend. Yeah, because he's thinking of going to try to break in and uh, take that egg. Let's go through this book here. Nah. Are we gonna? Yeah, look. Excuse me. What's he doing? Just standing there. Here, Schmidt. Not now. After the concert. Okay, so we need to go to. We need to avoid this concert. Me. Right away, Monsieur. What is this guy doing? Excuse me, Monsieur. Open it. Waiting for the guy to open his door. Oh. Or just standing in everyone's way like you usually do. <laughs> well, I mean, there is that. You typically stand in front of all these people and they have to walk by you awkwardly. Who is it? Oh. Sorry, wrong door. No, right door. Why are you making a bomb? Like, hey, do you have a bomb in there? Can we look? Let's take a look at this guy and what he's doing in there with that bomb. Nope, he's just reading right now. Yeah. Let's close that. Let's close that up. 
Hey Polish, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Vous n'avez pas réussi à la madouille. C'est délicat. Vous comprenez, Madame Boutarel et son mari ne sont pas invités au concert de Madame Wolf. Rien n'est pire qu'une femme vexée. Et je crois bien qu'elle ne soit pas prête à abandonner. Dommage. Les règles sont les règles. Annoncer la triste nouvelle à Madame Wolf et emmener son chien dans le compartiment à bagages. Moi, monsieur Oui, vous. Pourquoi Vous avez peur des chiens Non, 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 monsieur. J'adore les animaux. Alors c'est très bien. Faites pour le mieux. Et surtout, présentez nos excuses à Madame Wolf. Souvenez-vous qu'elle est l'une de nos meilleures clientes. Elle a voyagé dans ce train plus souvent que vous. Je le sais, monsieur. All right, I guess we have to... Conv yeah, she's going to have the dog moved out, but that doesn't really help Je us. Because we know that the Firebird's not going to be in her compartment now. It's going to be in the compartment next to the uh, old man who's sleeping. Yes? Who is it? Sorry. That our friends, uh, you know, rebels. I believe they are. Hard mode. Turn off subtitles. No, I don't think we'll do that. Yes. Who is it? Sorry, Milo. Wrong door. That's the guy. Excuse me, madam. Bonjour, monsieur. Excusez-moi. Yes. Who is it? Miss Wolf. Excuse me. Uh, well, at least her dog's not barking. But we need to get into the... Uh, that guy isn't really important so far. He just kind of just talk... He just kind of bullshitting with these guys over here. Yes? Who is it? Sorry, these doors all look alike. My mistake. Yeah, there's that. C'est le conducteur, madame. Come in. Excusez-moi, madame. What about the bunk above him, Nick? Wait, 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 wait. But now that the passenger has complained, must he go to the baggage car? The passenger has insisted, madame. What can I do? Just a moment. Oh, mein Kleiner, sei nicht traurig. Es wird dir schon gut gehen im Gepäckwagen. Komm her, mein Schatz. Oh, oh come. Forgive me, madame. You make sure he has plenty of water. He really doesn't like the baggage car. Of course, madame. You are kind. I'm very, very sorry. Oh, look. Look, the little dog's coming up. Good dog. Good doggy. They rotoscoped a dog in there and everything. That's awesome. Excuse me, Monsieur Whitney. Okay, we're about halfway to Vienna. That's the best dog. Well, she doesn't have a dog in her compartment, but that doesn't mean we still have the ability to get in there. Because even if she, uh, the conductor's not here. Yes? Who is it? He's taking the dog into, uh, there he is. Excusez-moi, monsieur. There's a newspaper. We've already looked through this, though. Yep, fighting near Mexico City, Bulgaria. There's a lot, a of, lot of things are right around the corner here. This is today's newspaper as well. Yeah. July 25th. Oh, is she just walking over here? Yeah, I guess she is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, ju in the game, it's not, I know it's December. <laughs> Minutes 
Le train entre en gare de Vels. Vels, 15 minutes d'arrêt. Bonjour, monsieur. Yeah, let's go into her cabin, see if she's, uh... They didn't hide anything there. Check their, uh... Check the area above the sink. What about behind you? Yes? Who is it? I mean, to knock on the uh, bathroom door, that would be... Awkward. Weird and awkward, and who would do such a thing? Oh, what's um, this? Oh. Blast. Review of the Greek English Vortex. Might want to shut the window. Oh, what's this? Dear friend, last yeah, night we already doctors allowed me to sit by the side of her bed for a long while and brush her hair. How happy I was. Her embrace pulls me into a dream, far away from my old, coastal world. At last, und revient team, in this fragile, rattling old box racing into the future. Wow. Well, you might want to thumb through it quick, Nick, because I think she might be coming. Wow. That's a lot of writing. Um. Oh, we can go out there now, Nick. Apparently too many people walking that when we stop at a station. Oh, who cares? Oh, you can go in now. Oh, wait. No, this is just where we came from. No, this is... This is exactly where we came from. We needed to move over one. <laughs> that was a mistake. Yeah, I think that's what it was. You clicked back. There we go. Is there anything in there to click on? Anything at all? Any pixel near the north? The, the feather? Nothing. No. Yeah, he would click on it if there was anything to do with it, but you're right, it would have a smell. Interesting. What about the big case? Yeah. What's this? Um. Uh, Air Schmidt, supplier arms to the Balkan powers, yeah. So she's working with somebody. Yeah, she's working with British intelligence or German intelligence. Probably German intelligence. Yeah, it's what it looks like. They want to know the de delivery of the arms to the Balkans. That's all this his, is all about. Um, I mean, His Majesty's Imperial Government, that can honestly be either. Yeah. Um, I think that's the German coat of arms at the top. That's why I wondered. Some musical notes. Um, yeah, I can't tell. Okay. Let's walk around the rest of the cabin if we can. Anything above us? Ooh, good point, good point. Nope, doesn't look like she keeps anything up there. Yeah, it looks like she's completely, uh... Okay. We'll keep looking around. Look to the right. Uh, turn around. Oops. There we go. Nothing there. Yeah, Nothing else in that jewelry box you might be able to take to like show. Oh wait, what's this angle? 
Nope, that's back to that. Nope, nothing there to take. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right there. In front of you, Nick. The drawer on the bottom of the jewelry box. Oh. You have a key now. Do you know where the key goes? Not a clue. Check your inventory. Never mind. Maybe check the jewelry box again? Maybe there's a keyhole in the box. Like a false bottom or something? No, it would be something... <gasps> Maybe she has a key to the lady's uh, cabinet. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, maybe you have a key to her cabinet now. <coughs> or cabin, I should say. All right. The train's not moving anymore. Now it is. Well, we have a key now, Nick. Just gonna leave her window open like that. Yeah, who cares? Well, I think he does it automatically if he if it works. Yeah, so it has to be Oh. Miss oh. Albanskaya is not in, monsieur. I believe she's at the concert. Uh oh, is it? Oh, it is concert time. Well, how about how about you go into the old man's cabin and then go over to hers? Good point. Good point. If it'll let you. Monsieur, this is not your compartment. You want the other sleeping car. Okay. So okay. he's just watching us too much. Yeah, we need to get rid of him. So you'll have to go back in time. Uh, good thing those two ladies didn't see you. Because <laughs> you were totally in their fucking thing. I am the key master. So what are you thinking going back in time and doing? <laughs> going back in time, get that key, and then we uh, sneak into that compartment. Because they're not going to take... It's not going to take another hour to get to... Uh, Vienna. They're going to get to Vienna after the concert, aren't they? Maybe they will. They are going to be in Venice very soon. Okay. Yeah, right about there. Okay, we need to get out of this car. After we get the key, of course. Is there anything else there that we can... Wait, hold on. No, it was... It did show the key when we were there. It just, the guy's watching us. We have to wait for him to be turned around. Yeah, we just have to wait for him to get up and do something. This kid's just walking around. He's the world. Yeah, you are the key master. Hell yeah, we are. Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Okay, she's not going to be in her room now. So he's going to walk up to lock the door. When he turns around to go unlock, or when he turns around to go back to his chair, that's when Excuse you do me. it, Nick. Excuse me. Excuse me, monsieur. Excuse me. Compartment, please. Of course, mademoiselle. It's Thank locked. You. Or so she believes. Excuse me, madame. Go. Ah. Inventory. Crap. Not fast enough. Monsieur, that is not Yeah, you're, you're, you, you, you. So yeah. we need. You need more speed. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right. Make sure we got the key. All right, cool. Oh, wait.
Wait. Yeah, he was up. But he's he's already at his chair by the time you get all the way over here. You don't even have the key ready. So check your check your inventory. Get your key ready. There you go. Now watch and see where this guy moves. Because this lady will come out soon enough. Oh, you might want to step back some, because it looks like it puts you ahead. Yeah. All right, we just got to wait for her to come out of that room. And then we're going to go, we're going to sneak in there. Maybe that key actually is access to all the cars. Maybe. I mean, it could be. Uh, that might be the master key. I mean, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to have Excuse different me. keys. Excuse, Excuse me, Monsieur. Excuse, Excuse me. Monsieur. Yeah. Would you lock my compartment, please? Because nobody has a key except for the guys doing this. So it makes sense to have one lock on every door. All right, go, Nick. You did it. You're in. All right, let's read this book. What is this? Oh, it's blank. Blank. Or it's probably got like hidden ink or something. Wow. Hold on, when you before you clicked on that, like look at this mess in here, Nick. This is insane. Wait, what was that pouch? There's a pouch right there in the middle. And then there's yeah, a book back not there. Me click. Okay. Oops, no. Um. No, but no luggage up there. It looks like. You think that the matches will do something? Well, I was wondering if, like, you know, he appearing ink. Yeah. Hmm. What was she doing in this room, then? Wait, what's that behind the sink? <gasps> oh my god, Nick! Oh my god, Nick, you found it! What is this? That's the entire planet Earth! This is awesome! It's got something. Okay. Uh, press that button there. Oh! How fancy. Look at this. I think you have to press the buttons in sequence. So the top one first and then another one. No, it wasn't that one. Egg World. Maybe you're supposed to... Hold on. I have an idea, Nick. Maybe you're supposed to press the button to show her face and then you click on the location where she's from. That's my guess. Okay. Okay. Um. Can you spin it around anymore? Uh, try clicking the other two buttons. You probably didn't click the last two. No, I did at various times. Interesting. We can't spin it while... Yeah. What happens when you press one of the plan uh, continents? Interesting. Okay, we got ourselves a little puzzle box. What's on the bottom? Nothing. Um. This thing's pretty impressive. <whistles> but we also might want to, you know, be prepared. Whoa. Yeah, let's. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave yet. There's still uh, something on the sink I noticed. In the middle there. You don't see it? Am no, I just going I crazy? Oh. There's like a green, there's like a green object there. Yeah, it's like a green and red blue. Uh, that's just green and red there. I don't know what that's all it, about. It's probably the faucet. Ah. 
nothing up there. Just want to double check. Okay. Well, hey, we got the egg. What are you doing here? Oops. Uh, give that to me. Tatiana, you don't want this thing around. If you don't give it back, I'll call the conductor and have you thrown off the train. Give it to me. We'll have to go back in time and go through her grandfather's no, side. No, get out! Yeah, we can't. We can't let her take our egg away from us. She's supposed to be at the concert. There we go. Your tax collector. Oh, hey, the night owl. Somehow this keeps happening. He's right. Maybe it will sing for us. Okay. Well, that leads back nope, into the that's bathroom. The wrong door. Yeah. That's the wrong door. Bad. Yeah, she's still right. Hey, Night Owl. Thanks for the courtesy. Just a minute. How did you get in there? Shh. Monsieur Oblinsky is asleep. He mustn't be disturbed. Yes, Monsieur. Okay. Well, let's head back to our compartment before they, uh, where someone else yells at us. We also need to tell Air Schmidt that we have gold. We need, you know what? I think this is going to be a good enough stopping point for today. Okay. And I'm guessing, uh, There's something goes that's... there. Yeah, we have part of the pro. See, look. Part one solved. Hell yeah. All right. It's, it saves the game automatically. So uh, we just okay. hit the little egg there on the bottom. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. Anyway, we'll be back again uh, uh, tomorrow, I believe, uh, with uh, Ultima 2. And uh, yeah, we should be wrapping up uh, on the next video, the Charger, very soon here. Just apologize. It's taking a little long. We keep running into like little things I got to fix and uh, it's always final editing stuff that always takes the longest uh, in this process for us. But uh, so far, uh, this game has been a uh, has been a wild trip. Yeah. We're solving a lot of <laughs> we're solving a lot of things. I don't know if we're solving any of the right things, but we're certainly yeah solving things. I think we're doing okay. I mean, considering that like we're doing this quite blind and just taking notes, I'd say we're doing all right. You know? But yeah. All right. You guys have a good night. That's pretty much all I've got. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow for more uh, Ultima 2. So until then, you guys take care and have a wonderful evening. See you later. See ya.